Well, what is this strange thing on my plate? We never eat breakfast. We're trying something different. Dr. Barry said we can eat as many times as we want. We're going to eat breakfast at 7.30 in the morning. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives through the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's 7.30 in the morning. This is a busy day. Because it it's is. Saturday. Saturdays are always really busy during football season. I have to finish editing kids ministry. I never got to Sam's Club or to Whole Foods to return uh, that stuff. And we have the kids coming over, so I have to, as soon as we eat, edit kids ministry, go to Whole Foods to return Amazon stuff, go to Sam's Club next door. Otherwise, there is no meat for the barbecue with the kids tomorrow. What do you mean, no meat? What do you mean you don't eat no meat? And I can't make lamb. No, we can't make lamb. So um, then I have to leave around 1 o'clock in the afternoon for a set of football games. And what are your plans for today? Well, I am going to be up and at them and get my workout in. That's okay. the plan. Get my workout Michelle in. Michelle designed a workout for you. She did. She's a CrossFit trainer. Are I'm, you ready to be like really sore? I know. I'm going to work myself up to the, the all of the things that she has for me. Um, I'm already sore. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, my legs are sore from working out, but you know what? I feel like that is victory soreness. I'll take a fork if you got one. I got a fork. Um, can you pass the chicken please? This is the only chicken that we can have on this. Which one is which? So this is seasoned salt and this is uh, just regular Redmond's. Oh, okay. Okay, so here's what we have. And I have to clean. Here's what we have. Because people are coming over. We have overcooked eggs because I was making the coffee and I forgot the eggs were there. So these are disgusting, overwell eggs. They're just They're right Rachel's on my plate. They're Rachel's eggs. And then two slices of bacon. Rachel's eating three scrambled eggs, which are kind of like pancake style, again, because I was making coffee and forgot to go out and get them. Two slices of bacon. I decided to try to throw the Maria Emmerich protein bread on the gr on the grill in the grease. I kind of love it. So it's in the bacon grease. And then we have a couple more pieces as well. Oh, I'll take well. some of the mayo too. And then we have some of our Since butter and mayo, crunchy. which hopefully- Oh, that looks good. Oh yeah, now it's like butter. Now it's like butter. So we, we keep, messing with it a little bit to get the consistency to get it right. that you want yeah so hopefully we'll be able to film that later today i have a present for you you do i what's, do what's more of a present than breakfast <laughs> put your name on them mm -hmm. put my name on these i found something that walks away more than socks scissors, scissors. I must have in the last year bought like 12 pairs of scissors. Easily. I put them in my desk. I hide them. Mm -hmm. Everybody finds them. Yep. They never come back. They're nowhere in the house. I have no idea where they are. So I get these scissors on Amazon. They're titanium scissors and they are like probably some of the best scissors I've ever had. They are like <laughs> super sharp. I mean, literally you could take a piece of paper and just go down like this. I mean, they're that sharp. They're really, really well made. And they're cheap. It's like nine dollars for three pairs. Okay, so do so you... I bought six pairs. I put a rubber band on yours to indicate these are Rachel's. Put your name on them, and mine better not leave my desk again, do which you know, I'm sure they will. Do you know how bad I am with scissors? The lady that I share an office with at work sent me a message and was like, "Hey, I got you something on Amazon. Some new scissors." Are you <laughs> like, serious? Because I steal scissors. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm a like, scissor. what happens? But where do they go? That's what I want to know. I don't, I have no idea. They're somewhere with all of my Dollar Tree sunglasses. So 
Let us know down in the comment section, what is the one thing besides socks mm -hmm. that just disappears? Because everybody loses socks. Like, so what is the one thing that just disappears in your house? You're like, where did they go? Like, the house is only so big. Right. Right? That, that you just lose it. I'm also curious, what is it that shows up in your kitchen junk drawer? Because everybody has a kitchen junk drawer. I hate a kitchen junk drawer. What's the weirdest thing? I want to know what is the one thing that you constantly throw out of that kitchen junk drawer and then it always finds its way back in there. I want to wa know what the weirdest thing was. What is the weirdest thing in your kitchen junk drawer? How are you feeling so far? I feel amazing. You look amazing. I feel... Like, I don't know what the scale is saying, but wow, are you thinning out. I feel strong. Okay. I feel like really, really strong. I would like for us to be getting some more sleep. That is, I was like, I Last know. Last night was good. It was better than normal, but I would like that to be the norm. Last night was good be because my game got canceled. Mm -hmm. I want to say we were out cold by 1030. I looked over. We, I don't even know what we tried. So we decided we were not going to try to watch Jaws for the fourth time. But right? we didn't watch anything else either. No, we put something on. What did we put on? Oh, um... My mom's new boyfriend. Yes. With like Antonio I Banderas. Half, I think you got halfway through. And Meg through. Ryan. Yeah, I did get a little you bit. You got about halfway through. And then we, I actually turned off all of Rachel's alarms. We tried the chicken thing. The older chickens, they weren't beating up the younger chickens. They were just squawking like something's yeah. in here. Like you would think there was a possum in here. And right. we didn't want to upset the neighbors. Yeah. So we pulled the babies and let them go back down. And we're going to try again tonight. But, um... I, ch I turned all of Rachel's alarms off and I set one for 725. Of course, not knowing that you set one on Alexa for seven. Uh, th the point being that we were going to get at least seven hours sleep, which we did. We and did. And I feel really good. I feel good. Normally don't get seven so hours sleep. So imagine as incredible as we feel on one good night's sleep. Mm hmm. What if we were getting regular sleep and we were eating this way? Yeah. Amazing. I'm really, really excited. Okay, we have a long day to go. Uh, we'll check in with you throughout the day. She puts herself in timeout. No one is asking you to be in your cage. You have done nothing wrong. This is self-imposed. You are fine. The door is open. You do not need to put yourself in timeout. You're so sweet. Hey, that sweet face. All right, it's happening. Very simple setup. A step would do, but I don't have a chair that's this low. So I like this bench. How was your workout? It was really good. Um, and now I have another goal in mind. I want to go to my mom's house and go in the pool, but first I'm going to go on a bike ride.
<laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm just writing down some thoughts about something that I was studying um, in the Bible and how it relates to keto as uh, I was listening to a sermon about Saul converting to Paul and the difficulty of finding a place of acceptance because he had to leave the synagogue where they're kind of, you know, anti-Christian. He had been a part of that for so long and now he's decided to make a change and he keeps trying to join the church now that he's like, okay, I'm a Christian now and, and they're not letting him. Right. And I thought, wow, that is, we should be at that intersection for keto newbies. Like, I don't think we understand or remember how hard it is when you leave the way that everybody in your family and friend group and workplace is eating. That's already revolutionary. Everything that you knew before and the way you hung out is now different. And you're trying to reach out to have a seat at this new lunch table. And if you have people who are not receiving you because maybe you're not where they're at yet, that's the place where you give up. And it's so important for us to help welcome new people that um, that are entering the space. So I don't think I'm getting to Whole Foods again. I would run that errand for you, but I don't have a car. You could take my truck. Really? No, no wait, no, don't take my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel can't drive my truck. It's it's she's not used to the big thing. Somebody's oh, at the door. Probably Amazon. Um or it's Federal Express. Uh so yeah, it's like eleven thirty. I just finished editing yesterday's vlog. I finished kids ministry. High five. High five. Yeah, we got all that done. But I have to leave in an hour. Yeah. So I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get to Whole Foods and get to Sam's. I could, but it would really, really be tight. Let's not cut it that So close. I think I have a bunch of burgers in the freezer or at least one package. I want to do more than burgers, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to, I'm going to pull them out and defrost them. Worst case, you and I will just eat a bunch of burgers. I'm not upset about that. I also have some pork chops that we bought from that country store in oh, Georgia nice. that are already that. cooked. They're already cooked. So you just got to heat them up. But I'm thinking, you know, if all goes well and there's no lightning today, we should be done by about 7.30, which would probably give me enough time to at least get to Sam's Club and I can just go do Whole Foods another day. Um, I'm also trying to figure out what could I put on the smoker before I leave for my games tomorrow at like 9. I have to leave here at about 9 o'clock. So I'm, you'll be in church. I will be I'm in doing church. Some, I have to do some backup games because we've had a bunch of games like postponed because of COVID. So they're begging me because we're so short on officials. So I said I would go do that. I'm going to do church online with you tonight. And I'm thinking, what can I put on the smoker and let it run while we're all gone? That will be ready somewhere around three o'clock, but not overcooked. Is on the smoker and we're it, not home. I'm not talking about that. I, I would put it in the egg, but I know you're going to kill me if I put it in the egg. Dead. But again, it's perfectly safe. But if we just put it in the smoker, it would be perfectly fine. I'm just trying to figure out like if you figure nine to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So I need something that's going to take six hours to cook. Six to seven hours Brisket? to cook. That's like 12 hours. Okay. Um, Roast? But I, see, I need it to not overcook and I need something that's going to take absolutely no attention. You have the dishwasher on again. Sorry. <laughs> so At I don't some know point what it is. in our day, we have to do dishes and laundry, though. I know. But, well, we also have the vlog. But I guess you get what you get, right? So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what we could do that maybe, maybe I could do ribs at a really, really low temperature. Okay. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Rachel. What is this? It came. What is this? Oh my gosh, wait till you see this. I'm so excited for this. Look, even the dog is excited. The dog is always excited. <laughs> Come over here, you gotta see this. Here, I'll turn on this camera. I'm so excited for this. What is it? Especially because it's gonna save my pants. It's gonna save your pants? Yeah, pants. Uh, I love uh... this stuff. What? What did you do? Look at that. Okay, put that on the floor. I'm taking this to church because kids love boxes. We got another griddle. Does anybody think that I 
like love barbecue stuff and anything to do with cooking. I, I think I have a problem. I think that you are addicted to cooking. It's better than shoe problems though. You know what? I'm completely fine. I, I will enable this addiction because I get to benefit from it. Obviously. Okay. You gotta help. Ugh. Oh wow, it's much smaller than I thought. That's even better. Okay. This is perfect. Do you want a manual? Who needs a manual? Oh, wow. You're going to have to get the phone for this. Now, what is special about this? You'll see. Why do they have to wrap everything like this? Wow. Some of us like protection. It comes in pieces. I didn't know that. That's even better. It's going to be better for cooking videos. So we have a lid. Nice. That's very different because you can see through it. Garbage. I'm glad we're videoing this because this is the closest to Christmas morning excited kid unwrapping of presents that we're going to get. Garbage. Watch out for my computer. Nothing. Wow, look at this. Ready? Yeah. You got to get the peel. Oh. Nice. And now it's yours. Look at my foot. Does anybody know what this is? Look at it. You can see it's all swollen. Wow. It's, it doesn't hurt as it much, but look at, see how red that is? Yeah, it's like right in there. From here to here. I feel like, what was that from Tommy Boy where he's like, not so much here or here, but <laughs> right here. Don't get my toe where I dropped concrete on it and it never healed. It, it hurt, it doesn't hurt as bad as it did yesterday, so it's definitely healing. But what happens every time I step down, it stiffens up my calf. Like the muscle just, ugh. So I'm going to do my best to like, I don't know, let it heal. But four games today, three games tomorrow. Could Should you be interesting. explain that again? What was it like? Ugh. Okay, baby. You like every time you turn the corner, there's a phone? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's new. It's new and exciting. I just want everybody to know this is decaffeinated hot tea. This is the resort that I've had to resort to because I just want a little flavor that's not water. Is, is there that any fair? sweetener in there? Nothing, no. Okay, well, I am drinking one of these, which again, no sweetener, okay. it's just seltzer water, so. Well, it's, it's usually these are like a lemon took a bath inside of water. Okay, so I'm heading out with any luck, so long as, you know, we don't have any kind of lightning delay. Should be done around 7.30. I don't mind rain, it's raining right now. I just, we can't play in lightning. Right. If everything goes well, I'm going to stop at Sam's Club on my way home. I say we cook dinner on that new Blackstone. I'm, I am in. I can't so wait just to like see. just like eggs, no bacon. We don't cook bacon in the house. No. We'll cook the bacon outside, but let's try the eggs on the inside. Okay. Well, this does not look good. Hopefully, oh, I just saw lightning. Hopefully, as we head south. Yeah, down there, south. Hopefully, there's no lightning. Um, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Welcome to South Florida. I don't think we're gonna be playing today. Which means we get to sit at a field for hours and not make any money and then not play. But this is pretty bad. And this is the really interesting thing about South Florida because we literally drove five minutes down the road and there's no rain and it's nice and sunny. So, I don't know, it's, it, there's dark clouds, but there's definitely sun trying to peek through. Well, the lightning detector cleared. It's dark out, I don't see any lightning. According to our phone, it's within four miles, but that's clearing. We don't see any lightning, it's pouring, but we're gonna play. And then if I see anything, we're gonna cancel or at least postpone. I am so excited. I just hosted my first room on Clubhouse. And thanks to Claire and Joe Ray, I didn't fall flat on my face. I was so nervous going in there. So thank you guys for making it just so much fun. Um, I am going to have a couple of pork rinds while Joe is at his game. I'm just ready to eat, so I'm gonna. 
I actually put them in the air fryer to just kind of warm them up. I don't know why I like hot pork rinds, but I just do. This is just getting insane. $20 a pound for ribeye steak in Sam's Club. $18 a pound for strip steak. Crazy. Oh, jalapeno poppers. How I miss you. Wow, $300 which actually is how much we normally spend when we come here, but we didn't buy all the other junk. So in the end, I spent the same amount of money, but we bought two packs of New York Strip because I'm afraid the price is gonna go up. So that's eight steaks for Rachel and I. And then I got a pack of ribeye uh, because I'm afraid the price is gonna go up more. And then we got a bunch of hamburger and I cannot understand why 90-10 hamburger patties is cheaper than 88 percent ground beef makes no sense but at least we got a bunch of meat plus we got some spare ribs for the boys some dips for the boys like avocado and stuff like that but we're gonna go home now what do we have here and uh, why did i leave you alone we probably have to take out a mortgage on our house after going to sam's club today all right oh i didn't even look my hair is like really bad that's okay so yeah we needed a bunch of meat so we got two packs of the cheddar jalapeno we can't eat them because it's got more than beef in it. We can have beef. We can have those. But Anthony likes the cheddar jalapeno ones. Once he discovered them and he just eats all ours behind our back. We didn't understand why they were disappearing. So then we got some beef bottom round steaks. That's to make bacon wrapped steak. They're the perfect size. And $12 for the whole pack. Yeah, it was like four something a pound. Um, now that used to be like $2 a pound, but who knows? We'll take what we get. We got eight hamburgers or actually two eight packs and i don't usually buy them but that's 90 10 which i really want like 85 15 but that was cheaper than buying 88 percent for summer and that wasn't even in a patty i don't even know how they come up with these things. but it's cheap it was like 350 a pound so if you're looking for a cheap way to be eating a bunch of beef stick with ground beef um even pork is going up they said pork wasn't going up so Anthony wanted baby back ribs. The baby back ribs oh, were six dollars a pound. The pork spare ribs were two fifty a pound. Okay, so now wait till you see the price of the ribeye. <laughs> is this like is this like our anniversary happening right here? No, fourteen dollars a pound for ribeye at Sam's Club. Guess what? We're not serving the children tomorrow. No. So here's the thing: we were getting ribeye, and the strip steaks. If you hold them up. They were only a dollar a pound cheaper. So you're like, well, we should just get ribeye, right? But hold up the ribeye and look at how much for, you're going to pay a dollar more for this, but look at how much fat. Yes, fat is delicious, but if you just want the protein, the meat, let's just get the strip steaks and then add a bunch of butter to it and you're going to get a lot more meat. So, right. and- I, the only reason I bought so many steaks is I'm afraid the price is going to keep going up. This is how I know John Paul's coming over tomorrow. Anthony and John Paul both love that stuff. You can actually eat on keto, just yeah. not on it's beef, not, butter, bacon, and yeah, egg. Yeah, it's just not super. It does like have some bad oil in it. Guacamole. Anthony wanted guacamole, and he was going to get a big tub of it, and I'm like, it literally was 50 cents more to get it in the individuals. Get the little guys. And then we got some butter. And then chicken breast, which of course is not going up in price. It's the same dollar eighty a pound. But it's Michelle's favorite. We can't eat chicken, but Michelle wants chicken. So uh, 300 bucks. But I think there's a lot of meat. There's a lot of meat there for $300. Now here's the thing. Like I said earlier in the vlog, we usually spend two to $300 in Sam's Club anyway, but we're buying milk and lots of cheese yeah, and no lunch meat. We so told the kids if they want a side, like I think Michelle said that she was going to bring um, like a salad, like okay. a big bag of salad and just mix it there. But she said, here's the thing, when we come to you guys' house, we don't really even want sides. We can have sides, you know, on a newlywed budget anytime. You know what we don't get all the time? Meat. Success. That is really good surprising news. All of the chickens are, oh, that's awful. All of the chickens are in the coop together. Yeah, they all went up there on their own. Nobody had to chase. As a matter of fact, I went out there before I turned on the light and I realized the door wasn't closed. And uh, a couple of the bigger ones were downstairs making sure the little ones went up. Because they are, you know, you get the, the, one at the top of the pecking order, they generally do stay down and make sure everybody else goes up first, which is kind of weird. 
every well that's part of their job okay. right like you're the you're the leader you're the leader you're the you gotta, mama you got to make sure that everybody you know follows in line though right and you have to make sure that everybody you know is collected so i'm glad it's happening so the babies are not up on the roost i don't okay. know they may not be able to jump up that high yet so we might have to put another roost in but we don't want to disturb anything because at least they're not all like clucking no so the babies are literally all together in one of the nesting boxes but okay. it's a nesting box nobody ever uses anyway they're all they all went up together so everybody's up there seven chickens in the coop that's good nobody's dead yet so i need to take a shower you do and i need to take a shower because i'm gross also you you're not gross me and you're caleb beautiful. were we're watching a movie and so yeah i need to take a shower it's time so we got two of our four games in the lightning detector went off again with um basically the last quarter to go but it was 25 to nothing so they're like we're sending these teams home and then they're like listen the 13s the six the 12s can't play because we were beyond the lightest time we can start that game but like that game means something the 13s means nothing so they're like we're gonna send the 13s home it's wait a for lot the 12s. if i'm 13 well they're gonna play it another day okay but then they decide we were supposed to wait for that game till eight o'clock and then at like seven o'clock they're like we're just going to send them home to come back on Monday. The funny part was we saw everybody packing up. Anthony and I are sitting in the car. We see everybody packing up. And I'm like, did they cancel it? So I go over to the league rep. And I'm like, Daryl, did you forget to tell us? that?" He's like, oh, we forgot you guys were still here. Are you still here? We were all going to be sitting in the parking lot. So, so shower. Do you want to put like a picture of what we're eating? No, we're going to actually gonna... make some food while you go take a shower. Okay. And I'll cook. We're going to have eggs and leftovers, right? Eggs and leftovers, and Sounds then tomorrow good. we start fresh. Well, we said we weren't going to eat late, but we're going to eat late. We it just happened that way. Leftovers night. Okay, so that griddle is amazing. Like, completely nonstick. Look at your eggs. It's so pretty. So Rachel's got four eggs mm -hmm. and a hamburger patty. There's more if you want one. Mm -hmm. And then I have four eggs with brisket. And then some of our... Which we probably should have set out, but I'm so like yeah, crazy about it being cold. Yep. And that's it. How was your day? It was good. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot done. I cleaned the house. You know, anytime you're going to have company over and want everything smelling and looking pretty, mm -hmm. as best as I can. Um, and the and the chickens are working together. I'm happy about as that. As a cohesive flock. So tomorrow... It's going to be all the meat. Tomorrow's all meat. We got a lot of meat. Um, I got to get up. I got to go do four games. They're like makeup games because we've had so much lightning. Or three games. I have three games. Then the kids are all coming over. So tomorrow will probably be a short vlog. Yeah. Right, we'll get up in the morning. Just show just, you what we eat. Well, we're, you know, well, tomorrow will probably, I don't know, everything will be eat late. We don't normally eat on Sunday mornings except for we normally do a keto chow. Right. Because, and I certainly don't want to get up and make bacon and eggs at 6 a.m. No. That's just not happening. I don't want to eat them at 6 a.m. So, yeah. So tomorrow will probably be just coffee with a tablespoon of butter when we get up. And then just a big meal in the afternoon. So, Well, let us know how you're doing on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg if you are following along. Again, no requirement to follow along. You can no. add things in if you need to. Basically, the idea is eating super, super plain without having a bunch of things and just allowing your body to heal itself. Yeah. If you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we eat something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.